Hey guys, Buffin Gaming here, bringing you another video for our weapon conversion series, and today we're covering the FAMAS Valerisier. This is the upgraded version of the FAMAS F1 that you can unlock with the Code Breaker Blueprint, which you unlock by completing and reaching rank 155, so technically 156 in Season 2, so this is the weapon blueprint reward. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you what the blueprint looks like at base, how to transform it into the FAMAS Valerisier, and then we're going to jump and look at the recoil pattern, and it, as well as see how it performs in-game against bots. So let's go ahead and jump right in with it. Here we have the final design that I've made for the FAMAS Valerisier. Again, this is an upgraded special operations version of the FAMAS F1, so an intermediary between this and the Filiane, I believe it's pronounced. So anyone from France can correct me there. So you can see here the blueprint. Let's go ahead and jump out and take a look at what this looks like at base. So I'm going to go to our base FAMAS class here. So here we have the standard FAMAS F1 that we get in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And then here we have the Code Breaker blueprint as it comes by completing rank 155 in season two. So if I open this up, you can see the blueprint at base comes with a shotgun, the Forge Tech ultralight barrel, uh, just a standard red dot sight, FFS tack wrap for the buttstock, as well as a fast melee perk. So that you can see the, the differences here if I just swap between the two, the FAMAS F1, as well as here the Valerie CA. So pretty significant cosmetic changes here, turning this into a different variant of the FAMAS. Let's go ahead and back out now and we'll go to our class that we have set up here. So here we have the Fermas Valerisier, and you can see I have granular gear tape. So let's go ahead and strip this down to the base, and we'll go ahead and build this from scratch. So for the barrel, we're gonna go ahead and with the Forge Tech Ultralight Barrel, which at base is about 19 and a half inches, it seems, if I were to compare it with the 15.9, which is the shortest barrel available, and then compare it to the Forge Tech Ultralight, it's gonna be about a 9.5 or a 9.2 inch would be the Fermas F1, as well as the G2 barrel length in real life. So we'll go ahead and select that. We're going to skip out on the laser and for the optic we're going to go ahead and put on a four times slip sight on the weapons. This is going to give us a holographic zoom toggle as well as the zoom level with the four times magnifier. The only con here ADS speed because we have a bigger weighted optic on the weapon and you can see I'll show when I show images after we complete this the standard Vamas F2 and some of the upgraded versions usually typically come with these very big sights that the French give them. So you can see how it compares. This is kind of the biggest one of the biggest optics we can put on the weapon for the visual effect. So the stock, we're gonna go ahead and do the FFS tack wraps is gonna assist us with the ADS speed as well as the aiming stability being the con for this one. Oops, go ahead and select that. Now we're gonna skip out on the perk. For the grip, I'm gonna go with the granulated grip tape is gonna help us with aiming stability as well as walking steadiness. The con being aim walking movement speed. So again, this is personal preference. You can really put whichever one you're more comfortable on. It really depends on how you're gonna use the weapon in game. Go ahead and select that. Now we're gonna st stay with our standard 25 round magazine on the FAMAS. You can see our other options are going to be a 50 round Stenag mag as well as a 60 round Stenag mag. Either of those would kind of convert the base F1 into a G2, which we used in our G2 sniper conversion, which I'll leave the link down below for that. But for this video, for the Valerie we're going to leave it with the standard 25 round magazine on the weapon. Now for the underbarrel, you can see here, I don't have anything selected. We don't have the base bipod that typically would come on the FAMAS, even the Valerie if we put a bipod on, it's going to be deployed. It just doesn't look cosmetically uh, very appealing. So we're going to go ahead and put a Ranger foregrip on this. This is going to assist with the recoil control and aiming stability. The con being aim walking movement speed as well as aim down sight speed on this weapon. So we'll go ahead and select that. This is the final design for our blueprint, the FAMAS Valerisier. Now, some things you can notice here, cosmetic changes. Obviously, we swapped out the standard rail system or the hand, hand guard or carrying handle, I guess I should say, for the FAMAS F1, the PGMP rail mounting system that typically comes with the FAMAS, that big carrying handle, as well as the MFI SIG MAD iron sights. You can see our swap dot here for a lower Picatinny rail, lower profile low Picatinny rail here, as well as we have our iron sights, which would flip down here if we deselected our four times flipped optics. So you can see the, the changes there. As we also have the 556 special on the left hand of the handguard, we have IWS, International Weapon System on the base of the Picatinny rails there where the rear iron sight would be. And if I just preview this a little bit, we can see some of the details and writings on the weapon for the FAMAS Valerisier. So here we have just a serial number, caliber, 556. We have 556 Special being basically the FAMAS Valerisier for a Valor or an upgraded F1. We have the TAC Forge FFS Special as well as that icon there, as I said on the rear right there is going to be international weapon system or the i icon and then ffs is the blueprint style for this so you can see here the the changes 
to the weapon if I just back out once more and we look at it compared to here's our FAMAS Valerie and our standard FAMAS F1. So you can see the, the changes being that PGMP standard carry and handle rail mounting system is now being replaced by the Picatinny rail system lower profile as well as the Picatinny rails on the left, right, bottom as well as top. So you essentially have a quad rail here. You have the low profile Picatinny rails on the top, both sides as well as the bottom where we have our foregrip on it as well. So this is the FAMAS Valerie If we were to throw a camouflage on there, we can see how it would affect the weapon. It's going to essentially cover everything minus the sights and the underbarrel attachment. So you can see how that looks. So this is the final design. Again, the FAMAS Valerie CA, an upgraded version of the FAMAS F1. Let's go ahead now and jump a game and take a look at the recoil patterns for this particular build. Okay, now that we're in game with our FAMAS Valerie CA, let's check out the recoil patterns on this weapon. So what I'm gonna do now that we have a standard 25, or excuse me, the 30 round mag, I, originally I thought it was a 25 for some reason, so that's a correction there. Let's go ahead and just let this rip a couple bursts and see what the recoil looks like on the weapon without controlling it or holding our breath. So you can see that we're able to get to burst off pretty fast. There's very little burst delay on the weapon. Now let's control, hold our breath and control it. Okay, so we can't control it. Let's just, control, let's just control the recoil here. We don't have a big enough optic on to control our breath. So there you can see the recoil if we control it once more. So you can see we have a pretty decent spread with the burst if we run up here we can see not controlling it we go straight vertical and then we kind of had the horizontal vertical recoil on this controlling and controlling so it really is going to depend on how you control the weapon let's try it once more here now if i were to put select fire to single shot so let's go ahead and see how that looks so again, you can see the straight vertical recoil, and then you're going to have that horizontal recoil on the weapon, as well as just single shot. It's really going to be personal preference how you control the weapon. And we'll check out how it handles with both recoil patterns in game. So let's go ahead now and get right into it with the FAMAS Valerie CA. Okay, here we are in game with our FAMAS Valerie CA. So let's go ahead now and see how this weapon handles in game against bots. Go ahead and first we'll try and use it at a distance. Just try and get them, the enemy to come to us and check out the damage profile on this weapon. So here we go. This is what we want. We're just going to let the burst go. There you can see about a two, two burst kill. That was a one if we're hitting upper torso area. There we go. Check it out again. Now, if we can get a torso shot, it should be a one burst kill. Obviously, that was a little bit too long of range. Let's try this again. So there you go, one burst kill. If we're hitting, if we're hitting right center mass on the enemy. Change your mags. Okay. Let's get moving here. So again, this is the FAMAS Valerie CA. This is, can be unlocked with the Cold Breaker at the end when you reach max rank in Season 2. You can also unlock this with the Fractured Forces blueprint, which I believe was available in shop earlier in Season 2. So you may still have that one available. You just have to check your shop. Usually I check daily just to see what pops up for my Just For Me section, as well as anything new that may, be, that may have been put in game. So we're getting a little bit closer quarters here. That's where the flip sight definitely has an advantage. And you can see the the quick, uh, very little delay to the burst definitely helps with this weapon. You're able to get shots off very quick with the burst and almost simulate something closer to a fully automatic weapon. Unfortunately, we don't have a full auto option with this gun. Let's see. Locked on target, hit him now. Back, get back. 
So if you can get all three bursts on target, it's typically going to be a one-shot kill with the torso here. Whoa, and then we ran out of ammo. <clears throat> so you just got to be vigilant of that. So again, this is the FAMAS Velocier, an upgraded version of the FAMAS F1. Typically coming with the, you can see with the low-profile Picatinny attachment as we discussed, it typically also comes with a laser designator on the weapon as well as a bipod. This was rolled out in the tw early 2010s as a replacement for the F1 as well as uh, one of the upgraded versions for special operations before the G2 and not to be confused with the FAMAS Felien, I believe it's pronounced. Ooh, got flashed here. Let's see. So there you go, one burst kill to the torso. I've used this online a little bit and I honestly love it. I'm not a big fan of the FAMAS in any Call of Duty game just because of the burst, but this one obviously puts enemies down pretty quick. So at a range like this, we may want to go single fire. And then we have our 1911 pistol for the sidearm there. So the FAMAS initially was developed and put in service in 1978 through present. The uh, design period was 1967 through 1971. So here we have it in single fire. You can see what the recoil looks like again on this. Oh. <clears throat> Gotta love those riot shields. Again, the F1, the different variants of the weapon, there's quite a few. There is the F1, the F1 Valerissier, which is what we're covering here. Then there's also a G1, G2. Oh, that's friendly. There we go. So there you see with the, the burst climb on the weapon, it wasn't a one-shot kill. It took three bursts because we didn't hit all of our shots on the burst. That's really weight. You got to watch for the muzzle climb on the weapon. So you got to be cautious of that. Now again, the FAMAS Valerissier is before the G1 and G2. Not to be confused with the Filien. I believe it's pronounced again. If you're French, correct me if I'm wrong there. Make sure we're on the burst fire option. There we go. He's down. So the four-time flip flight, definitely good because we can swap to long and short ranges. Very good. The mass on the FAMAS F1 we'll use it for comparison since this is a technically an F1, just upgraded version of the weapon. Let's see. Where are these guys? So the mass is going to be 3.61 kilograms or 7.96 pounds on the weapon for the F1, which is what we're covering again here. So... Also, the length of the weapon is going to be 29.8 inches. Did I hear him. Where are these guys? I think they're coming up the ladder over here. Yep. There we go. So they said the length 29.8 inches and 30.8. 0, 38.0 inches with a bayonet, which typically comes with some of the F1 variants. The barrel length of the weapon for this one is F1 and G2s is going to be the 19.2 inch barrels. There we go. It also comes with a G2, comes with a 405 millimeter as well as a 320 and a 620 millimeter, which I believe we used to cover the FAMAS G2 sniper in one of our past videos. Again, I'll go ahead and link that video down below. Go ahead and reload here. So the cartridge, obviously, this is a 5.56. Whoop. Oh boy. 5.56 cartridge on the weapon. So it's 5.56 by 49 NATO. The action is a lever delayed blowback system. Rate of fire in real life for the F1 is 900 through 1,000 rounds. The G2 is 1,000 through 1,100 rounds because it is in real life a, a full auto weapon. Unfortunately, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, as well as this, we have a three round burst feature. In Black Ops 1, it was fully auto, and we also did see this particular version in Black Ops 1 as the FAMAS Valerissier. Now the muzzle velocity in the weapon is going to be 930 meters per second. Uh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> So they said the muzzle velocity is going to, for the F1 is going to be 930 meters per second. For the G2 is 925 meters per second. Effective range is 300 meters for the F1 and 450 meters for the F2. There we go. Got a nice headshot. Whoops. Didn't want to call. I wanted to call on our personal radar. Not that, but we'll go ahead and get out of that in a second. The maximum range for the FAMAS is going to be 3,200 3, meters on the weapon. Let's see if we can get some kills here. We're RTB to refuel. Okay, back to the weapon. So again, the feed system on the weapon typically comes with a 25-round box mag. Also capable of a 30-round box mag, which we see here, which is typically for the G2 variants. And usually it's a Stenag mag, which is why the 50-round Stenag mag on the weapon better suits the G2, which we covered in our G2 sniper video on the weapon. Okay, actual deploy recon. Calling our radar. So again, let me know what you think of this weapon down below. Have you unlocked the Codebreaker yet at max rank for Season 2? Making it to the Famas Valerissier. You can also get the Codebreaker, or the... Oh boy. I think they're coming up on me here. So you can also use the Fractured Forces Blueprint, which again, I think is available in store for unlock. And you can use that to make this weapon as well. So let me know down below what you think of the FAMAS Valerissier or the Code Baker Blueprint in general. Have you unlocked it yet? Have you yet to unlock it? Have you purchased the Fractured Forces Bundle for the Blueprint to create this weapon? What do you think of it overall? I think overall it's a very nice cosmetic blueprint to the weapon. Again, we talked about this with the LWCR, turning it into the UMP with the Undertaker blueprint. Is I love seeing blueprints like this, which give us drastically different variants of the weapon, or even different weapons in general, like we saw the Undertaker blueprint, turning the Striker 45 into an actual UMP 45. So that's always good to see. So again, let me know what you think of this down below. Also, be sure to check out the social media down below. We have Discord, as well as Twitter and Instagram. So go ahead and check those out. Best place to get a hold of me. If you want to get a hold of me for weapon blueprints or conversions, definitely I check those more so than anything. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content. It definitely helps out smaller channels like myself. So I really appreciate all the feedback and comments that you guys give me. So go ahead and leave them down below. Let me know what you think of the Codebreaker Blueprint here, the FAMAS Valerissier, which we're covering. Again, I'll cover the Codebreaker Blueprint in general in another video itself. But you can see here on screen just the deadliness of that burst. If you can control it, aim about the stomach area so all three bursts connect to the torso. And you're going to have typically a one-shot kill with this weapon. Or even if you can get one to go right to the head, it's going to be a guaranteed one-burst kill. So let me know down below what you think of the FAMAS Valerissier. Until next time, Buffer Gaming, out.